Well, there is a tidal wave of news here in D.C., Sarah, from uh, lots of resignations from inside the Trump administration uh, and questions about uh, whether or how there would be uh, enough of a movement uh, to remove President Trump via the 25th Amendment or through the impeachment process. Certainly, there have been the most calls from Democrats on that front, although there are some rumblings from within the administration that some of those options are being explored. Uh, as far as the work to bring to justice the individuals who stormed the Capitol yesterday, a press conference just wrapped up a few minutes ago from the office of the U.S. Attorney of the District of Columbia, where they talked about the fact that there are charges being brought. Forty individuals have been charged in the last 36 hours. The majority of those charges relating to the unlawful entry into the Capitol, but there are also charges for assault and possession of firearms. And there was one individual, according to the acting U.S. Attorney Michael Sherwin, uh, who possessed semi-automatic rifles and 11 Molotov cocktails. They said that there are going to be uh, some more information about that individual uh, filed later this evening and uh, 15 federal cases uh, presented to a judge later today. So certainly uh, law enforcement officials are trying to uh, put some identities on the people who were at the Capitol yesterday and have started identifying some of the perpetrators in yesterday's siege. Saren Wolf. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.